Hey guys, this will be a quick video showing you how you get World Edit to work in single player uh, for the latest version of Minecraft. Uh, this video is going to be for Minecraft 1.16.4, but it will work for previous and future versions as long as there's a World Edit version released for that, as well as Forge version. So before we get into downloading it, I just want to really quickly say make sure you're downloading all your mods, plugins, you know, everything from a reputable, uh, reputable source. So the official kind of source, some mod... Uh, Authors have, you know, their own website where you have to download it at, like, you know, like Optifine is the biggest one. So I believe Optifine.net is the official uh, Optifine website. So just, like, make sure you're downloading it off that. Uh, otherwise, I would recommend just make sure you're downloading all your mods off CurseForge if they're hosted on there. That way, you know, you have a lot uh, less likely of a chance of downloading something harmful for your computer. Uh, you can't guarantee what you're getting on a rehoster website. Uh, it's kind of legit, so I've just been seeing an increased, you know, number of people down <laughs> recommending to download off these rehosters, and you should really be downloading it off the official source. So in this case, uh, CurseForge, or sorry, World Edit is on CurseForge. So click the first link in the description and go to Files, click View All, and now you're going to download the version uh, for the F World Edit version for the Minecraft version you want. So you can see the game versions over here. In this column, now I'm gonna download. I want 1.16.4, so I'm gonna download the World Edit 1.16.4 version. This is the latest version, and I'm gonna make sure I download it for Forge, not Fabric, because we are using the Forge mod loader. So click the link and click download. Now I'm gonna save that to my desktop. I already have it on there, so I'm just gonna replace it. Next, we're gonna need Forge, so go to the next link in the description. And then, okay, so mine default goes to uh, Forge 1.16.3. You're going to want to click whatever version you want to download. So I want 1.16.4, so I'm going to click 1.16, and then I'm going to click 1.16.4. Now this will be all the downloads for the latest version. Now uh, go to all versions and click show all versions. Now the top version, or sorry, the top you know row is always going to be the latest version. So this is going to be the one you're going to want to most likely download. So how you uh, download it is you want to click the installer I. Don't click installer because that will take you to like an ad fly or something. If you click the I, it will give you a direct download. So this is what you want. And then I click save and we're going to save that to the desktop. So if you go to your desktop and you see that the forge, you know, icon, you can't click it or it's unrecognizable or, you know, it won't work. Uh, that might mean you don't have Java installed. So you need to install Java. Uh, I recommend using Adopt Open JDK. Uh, it's really easy to install. Um, you can download it off Oracle's official website, but you can have to make an account now because they changed some of their licensing and yada yada yada. So I would just recommend uh, Adopt Open JDK. It's uh, maintained by an open source group, so that's always nice. Uh, you just want to make sure if you download if you end up downloading it, make sure you download the Java uh, JDK eight, and then the JVM doesn't really matter. So I just leave it at the default. And then click latest, you know, release. And then just run this file. Uh, Java 1.8, or not 1.8, but Java 8 works the best for Minecraft and, you know, plugins and stuff. So that's why I recommend Java 8. I have heard 11 and 15 run, you know, pretty well. But some mods might have problems with, you know, different versions. So 8 is recommended. So once you have that installed, and you can, you can click uh, Forge. Well, if, if you needed it installed. Don't install it if you don't need it. <laughs> but if you can click Forge then, double click it. And now this will be the uh, system installer for Forge. So make sure install client is selected. It should be the default. And make sure this uh, box is your install directory, directory for Minecraft, which it, you know, if you didn't change it, this will be fine. So we're gonna click okay. Now it's gonna build and install. Now that was really fast. <laughs> Um, if yours doesn't install that fast, or it seems like it gets stuck like at this end here, just let it wait. If this box doesn't come up, it's still running. So just let it run until this box comes up and then click OK. And now we have Forge installed. So now if we go to the start menu, or the start bar and type percent uh, app data percent, this will take us to our .minecraft folder. So we want to click that. And then, so we don't have a mods folder. You might have a mods folder, you might not. If you don't, we need to make one. So just click new folder and type mods, M-O-D-S, hit enter. Now go into that folder 
and download the world edit uh, version that you downloaded and paste it in there. So now we can close that and now we can launch Minecraft. So open the Minecraft launcher. Now my launcher was already set to the Forge version. If yours isn't set here, all you have to do is click this little link and then find the version you want. So, you know, we installed Forge, so I'm gonna click here. Now, if for some reason your Forge does not show up on this list, which it should, uh, but if it doesn't, you'll have to just edit the installations. So if you click installations, click new, and I'll just make it, you know, uh, MC Forge 1.16.4. And then click uh, versions and then we're going to want to find the release 1.16.4 forge you're going to want to find whatever version you installed but in our case that's what we installed and click create and then that uh creates the one we just created now uh, as you can see i previously made another one but anyway that's how you get it to work so once you have that working you want to make sure you click this again and select what version you want and then click play now this will load up minecraft and as you can see the uh, Forge mod loader is loading right now and it's loading all of our mods. So if this takes a second, there we go. So now if we go into single player, I'm just going to make a new world. Make it peaceful. Now this isn't going to be an in-depth uh, video on world edit. This will just be kind of a quick one uh, showing basic selection and basic pasting. Uh, I'll have a more advanced video in the future. But this is just getting you kind of really, really started with the world edit. So if you do slash slash wand, that will give you the wand item. Now if I uh, left click this tree up here, that selects my first point. And if I right click down here, that selects my second. If I do slash slash set, I will just do, we'll do lava, screw it. That replaces my selection in between that with lava. So if I didn't want to do that, I can do slash slash undo. And that undoes it. Now, since I pasted a liquid, the liquid will, you know, my selection uh, was inside. It undid that, but it didn't undo the liquid that, you know, flowed outside of it. So if you have water, lava, you can do slash slash drain. And we'll just do, I don't know, 50. And that drains. Uh, uh, sorry, it drains the, uh, the lava. Um, that's on fire. Whatever. We'll let it burn. So that's just how you basically do a basic selection of set. You can also do slash slash POS1. That's, that's my uh, first selection. If I fly over here and I go down here and I type slash slash POS2, that's my second selection. And if I do that slash slash set uh, stone again, that sets my selection as stone. Now say I don't want this as stone. I already have this as my selection. If I do slash slash replace, uh, replace, we'll do stone. Because I want to replace stone, and then we'll replace it with uh, oak planks. Okay, so now uh, that's nice, but now I want you know I want a border on it. So I'm gonna click that corner, click that corner, left and right click. I'm gonna do slash slash walls, and then we're gonna do stone bricks. Now that gives me a nice little border. Now I'm going to kind of build off this corner here. Go back over here. Now, if I want walls around this, I'll just type, I'll select the two you know, corners I want walls around. And I'll do slash slash walls. And I'll do the block. So I'm going to do gradient maybe. Okay, that's not the block I was thinking of, but eh, it works. <laughs> so, actually, say I don't want that color. I can do slash slash undo, and that undoes my selection. So, say I want to replace this with... We'll do uh, a bunch of different blocks. So, I'll press up on the arrow key to get the new one. So, we'll do granite. I'll put a comma, and we'll do diorite. And we'll do stone. And if I click enter, this will replace my selection with kind of a bunch of uh, different blocks. So just a combination of the three. Um, now if I, that's already my selection, I'm just gonna reselect it so you guys can visualize it. If I select that and do uh, slash slash 
replace, uh, we'll do stone, and I'll replace it with stone brick. Now that only replaces the stone that was in my current selection with stone brick. It doesn't replace anything else. So that's kind of the really basic uh, commands of Warlet, how to make a selection, how to undo it. Um, you can also do slash HPOS1, maybe slash slash, yep, slash slash HPOS1, and that sets the first uh, point to wherever you're looking. So if I do, you know, if I'm looking at that tree branch, set so uh, HPOS2, and I do slash slash set one, or stone, sorry, that sets my selection as stone. So that's another way you can select things, uh, but that's kind of it. So if you like this video, you know, give it a like, subscribe, it helps out. Uh, if you have any ideas or any suggestions for future videos or have a problem, you know, with a certain mod or just want to kind of, you know, walk through of it, uh, let me know. If you have any ideas for future content, also let me know. I'm kind of experimenting with other content, maybe mod reviews or uh, mod showcases as well, kind of where this video is coming from. I'm also going to have more in-depth tutorials on Rolled and Voxel Sniper and other plugins in the future, so subscribe for those. Otherwise, have a good day and I'll see you guys later.